Napenda uende mbele za Bwana ukamwabudu asubuhi ya leo. Kwa maneno yako mwenyewe enda mbele zake ukamwambie Bwana unastahili. Katika maisha yangu unastahili. Katika kazi yangu unastahili. Katika jamii yangu unastahili. Nikiangalia Bwana ninauona mkono wako. Nikiangalia Bwana ninaona uaminifu wako. Mahali ambapo nimefika Bwana wewe umekuwa Ebenezer. Enda mbele za Bwana inua sauti yako. Ukiweza inua mikono yako mbele zake ukamwambie Bwana ninakuabudu asubuhi ya leo. Asubuhi ya leo ninakuletea ibada ya sifa. Naleta ibada yangu ya sifa mbele zako. Nikisema unastahili. Nikisema unatawala. Nikisema hakuna Mungu kama wewe. Enda mbele za Bwana na kuka dakika moja hivi. Ukanene na Bwana, nena naye moja kwa moja, nena naye moja kwa moja. Nena naye kama baba yako. Nena naye moja kwa moja. Mwambie maneno ambayo anatoka ndani ya moyo wako. Mwambie Bwana asubuhi ya leo. Najua nitasikia neno lako. Nitasikia nitaimba nyimbo lakini kutoka kwa moyo wangu ningependa ujue kwamba wewe ni Mungu wangu. Wewe ndio ndio urithi wangu. Kila kitu kikija na kipite wewe ndio unabaki nami. Ninakuinua asubuhi ya leo Bwana. Ninakuinua asubuhi ya leo.
Ndo uchukue fursa Tukua watu dakika moja Na beleza buwana subu ya leo Umambia buwana Kwa kika sina mwingine wa kuabudu Ila ni wewe Maisha ni mwangu Sina mwingine wa kumtumainia Ila ni wewe Sina mwingine wa kumsifu Ila ni wewe Sina mwingine wa kumtegemea Ila ni wewe buwana Nataka uchukue dakika chache Ukaweze kumwabudu asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo umwambie Bwana asubuhi ya leo na kuinulia moyo wangu na kuinulia nafsi yangu na kuinulia maisha yangu na kuinulia chote changu ili Bwana nikapate msaada asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwambie Bwana asubuhi ya leo wacha roho wako mtakatifu akawe juu ya maisha yangu Wacha Bwana nafsi yako ikapate kubarikiwa katika uwepo wako katika jina la Yesu Kristo ambia Bwana afungue anga na mbingu ambia Bwana achilie baraka achilie uwezo achilie nguvu zake asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana tunasema uinuliwe juu ya maisha yetu ukapate kuinuliwa juu ya maisha yetu ukapate kutukuzwa juu ya kanisa lako ukapate kutukuzwa ukapate kuitwa Mungu mkuu ukapate kuitwa aishie ukapate kuitwa Mungu wa majeshi katika jina la Yesu Kristo haleluya enda tu mbele za Bwana mwambie Bwana wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mkuu wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mkuu katika jina la Yesu Kristo hakuna aliye kama wewe hakuna aliye kama wewe hakuna aliye kama wewe hakuna aliye kama wewe asubuhi leo mioyo yetu inakubariki katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana uinuliwe utukuzwe haleluya Nasema kika wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. 
Amina. Wakati tunapoandaa mioyo yetu kupata kuhudumiwa katika kipindi cha ambio mbele za Bwana, ningependa kachukue ombi moja kutoka kitabu cha Juda ama kitabu cha Jud mstari sura ni ya kwanza mstari wa ishirini maandiko anasema kuwa tujijenge katika imani yetu takatifu tukiomba katika roho tujijenge katika imani yetu takatifu tukiomba katika roho tujijenge katika imani yetu takatifu tukiomba kwa roho kwa hivyo asubuhi ya leo ningependa twende mbele za Bwana tukapate kuomba kuomba jinsi roho wa Mungu anapokuongoza na pia kuomba kwa lugha waambie Bwana wacha nikajengeke na wacha ibada ya leo ikatujenge katika jina la Yesu Wacha ibada ya leo ikatujenge. Wacha ibada ya leo ikatuimarishe. Wacha ibada ya leo ikatutie nguvu. Wacha ibada ya leo ikatutibitishe katika jina la Yesu. Wacha imani yetu ikajengeke. Wacha nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu zikaimarike ndani yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo chukua dakika moja enda mbele za Bwana ambia Bwana asubuhi ya leo unapotuma neno lako wacha likanijenge wacha likaniimarishe wacha likaniinue wacha likanithibitishe wacha imani yangu ikachochewe katika jina la Yesu Kristo enda mbele za Bwana omba kwa roho omba kwa lugha Omba jinsi Roho Mtakatifu anapokuongoza katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana wacha ibada ikajenge nafsi zetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wacha udhaifu ukaondoke katika jina la Yesu Kristo wacha hofu na wasiwasi zikaondoke wacha kutoamini kukaondoke katika jina la Yesu Kristo wacha kila mmoja katiwe nguvu asubuhi ya leo Arika jina la Yesu Kristo kila mmoja kajengeke kila mmoja katiwe nguvu upya katika jina la Yesu Kristo kila mmoja akatiwe nguvu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Ah, wacha roho wa Bwana kawe juu yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo urapa katusa lepra katusha ta ikolope katusha kidigidigidigidigidiga arato tototo shekete kidigidigidigidiga uraka ta 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 kalepa kidigidigidigidiga shekidigidigidigidigidiga uraka ta kalepa katusa ta Bwana tukatiwe nguvu asubuhi leo katika jina la Yesu neno lako likatutie nguvu neno lako likatuchochee neno lako likatudhibitishe neno lako likatuimarishe neno lako likatujenge katika jina jina la Yesu vipawa za Roho Mtakatifu zikathibitike zikaimarishwe zikajengeke zikanawiri katika jina la Yesu Kristo katika jina la Yesu Kristo Ezuka daba katikatikatika ikatatatata shika lepra katusata oranta tata daka daba katikatikatika isoka katikatikatikatikatikatikatikatikatika ranta tose kelepa katikatika Bwana tunakupa sifa uinuliwe katika jina la Yesu tunaomba Haleluya tunampokea mtumishi wa Bwana kutupa pambio moja kwa chombo cha kupuliza na baadaye kwaya itachukua usukani. Haleluya.
Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Um, asubuhi ya leo najua tunajitayarisha ndio tukasikia neno la Bwana. Ningependa tuimbe pamoja wimbo wa kumsifu Bwana. Bwana nimekuja kwako.
inakiri uwezo wako Somebody tell God that He's more than enough for you. We to anatosha. God is more than enough. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you. We adore you this morning. Bwana tunakutukuza asubuhi ya leo. We praise your holy name. Tunalitukuza jina lako takatifu. Thank you Father for bringing us into your presence this morning. Sande Bwana ni kwa ajili ya uweza wako siku ya leo. Thank you Lord for what you are set to do in our lives this morning. Bwana tunashukuru ni kwa ajili ya yale utaenda tukutenda siku ya leo. Thank you Father for the word oh God that you have brought to us oh God this morning. Nashukuru ni kwa ajili ya neno lako bwana unaloenda kuzungumza. Let your word do us good O oh Lord. Wacha bwana ikatutendee wema. Let your word renew our mind. Wacha neno lako bwana likafungua akili zetu. Let your word transform our lives for good. Wacha neno lako litubandilishe. Lord I surrender my life unto you. Bwana tunapokuinua. Lord I surrender my life unto you. Ninaipeana maisha yangu kwako bwana. Lord use me as your vessel. Nitakase na kunitumia kama chombo. Speak through me Lord. Bwana unitumie. And Lord speak to me also. Zungumza nasi bwana. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amina. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you, are you excited this morning to be in God's presence? Tumnafurahi kuwa katika nyumba ya Bwana. Are you? Yes, the Bible says David said I was glad when they told me let us go into the house of the Lord. Linasema ni furaha niliyokuwa nayo waliponiambia twende kwa nyumba ya Bwana. Because God has never gathered his children in vain. Sababu Bwana hawezi kukusanya wana wake has, pasipo na sababu. He has a special uh, testimony, a special package for us this morning. Nalo ni njema kutuhusu asubuhi ya leo. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to also thank our Father Lord Apostle Eric Zelo Kere for this opportunity that has given me even to share the, uh, the word of God this morning. Shukuru pia kwa nafasi niliyopewa na baba yangu wa kiroho, mtumishi wa Mungu. I don't take it for granted. Shukuru sana sichukuli tu. And I thank God for where he has taken me from. Shukuru kwa vile njinzi amenikuza katika kiroho. And how God has used our father the Lord to mentor me and to bring me up spiritually in all in all areas of life. Njinzi vile Mungu alivyomfanya kumtumia kuweza kuniinua. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate our Father in the Lord and our Mommy in the Lord this morning. Appreciate them this morning. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. This yeah. this morning we're going to share the word of God. Subuya leo nitaenda kulizungumza neno la Mungu. And the topic for this uh, message this morning is God's visitation through desire. Na kifungu ninachokizungumzia asubuhi ya leo ni siku ya ujio wa Bwana kupitia matamanio. God's visitation through desire. Siku ya Bwana ya kututembelea kupitia matamanio. What do you desire this morning? Ni matamanio gani tulionayo? What do you desire concerning your life? Unatamani nini katika maisha hii? What do you desire concerning your current situation? Nini unachokitamani katika maisha ulioko? Do you desire change? Unatamani mabadiliko? Do you desire transformation? Unatamani kubadilishwa? Do you desire lifting? Unatamani kuinuliwa? Do you desire change of position? Unatamani kubadilishiwa chao. You change of, of, of status. Unatamani kubadilishiwa hali ya maisha. And as, it, as you desire this morning. Jinsi unavyotamani. God will visit you. Mungu akukumbuke. And give you the desires of your heart. Na akupe matamanio ya roho yako. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. The, the challenge this uh, many uh, people face in, the, in in this current world these days. The, the current challenge that people are facing this in the uh, in this current world Maratizo tunayo kumbana nao katika ulimwengu wa leo is that God visits them and they don't recognize that God has visited them Ni kwamba watu wa siku za leo wanapotembelewa hata wakati mwingine hawajui Mungu amekuja God has a wonderful plan for each and every one of us Mtu an, Mungu anao mpango mwema ni kwa ajili yetu wote But but, none, but a few of us are, are, are keyed in to to receive the, the plans and the blessings that the God has set for us. Lakini ni wachache wanaojua na kutambua wakati wa Bwana na kujiweka tayari. The Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 10 to 11. Katika kitabu cha Yohana sura ya kwanza mstari wa 11. He was in the world. 
linasema alikuwa ulimwenguni and the world was made by him na ulimwengu ulifanywa naye and the world knew him not na ulimwengu wa kumtambua he came unto his own alikuja kwa walio wake and his, and his own received him not na wale wake hawakumchukua hallelujah amina we see that god visited his people in in in, in the form of his son Naona Bwana aliwakumbuka na kuwajia watu wake but they don't recognize him when he came. Lakini walio wake hawakumpokea. God came with salvation. Mungu alikuja na uokovu. God came with lifting. Alikuja na kuinua he watu. He came with redemption. Alikuja na ukombozi. He came with deliverance. Alikuja na kuokoa. But the, the people that he came to did not recognize him. Lakini walio wajia hawakumpokea. We shall not we shall we, we shall recognize God in the name of Jesus when he visits us in the name of Jesus. Sisi Bwana atakapotutembelea tutamtambua in the name of Jesus. Kariga jina la Yesu Kristo. The Bible says in John chapter 2 verse 11. Yohana wa pili, Yohana sura ya pili, verse 11, mstari wa 11. This beginning of miracles did Jesus on Canaan or Cana of Galilee. Linasema mwanzo huo wa ishara Yesu aliyofanya huko Cana ya Galilaya. And manifested forth his glory. Akahudhirisha utukufu wake. And his disciples believed in him. Na wanafunzi wake wakamwamini. You know God is everywhere. Mungu yuko kila pahali. God is everywhere. Mungu yupo kila pahali. But, but his manifest presence is not everywhere. Lakini mambo yake na matendo yake hayadhihiriki kila mahali. So when God's manifest presence comes Wakati Mungu anachopodhihirisha mahali we should take opportunity we should we should we should take uh, uh, we should capitalize on that opportunity lazima tuchukulie huo usukani na hiyo nafasi vizuri and allow god to work in our lives and transform our lives na kumpa hiyo nafasi yaweze kubadili maisha yetu haleluya amina you see that many people do not recognize god's visitation because number 1 naona ya kwamba watu wengi hawakumtambua bwana alipowajia kwa sababu because of inability to recognize the presence of God. Jambo la kwanza kwa kutokuwa na uwezo wa kujua wakati uwepo wa Bwana upo. People have in a, people are not able to recognize when God is around. Watu wakati hawawezi kujua Mungu ako kazini. Hallelujah. Amina. The Bible says in 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 11 to 13. Ufalme wa kwanza sura ya 19 mstari wa 11 hadi wa 13. And he said, "Go forth and stand upon the mountain before the Lord." And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains, and break in pieces the rocks before the, lo the, uh, before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after a fire, a still small voice. And it was so, when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face into his mantle, and went out and stood in the entering of the, of the cave and behold there came a voice unto him and said what does thou what does thou hear elijah that's it uh, first kings 19:11-13 ufalme wa kwanza sura ni ya 19 stari wa 11 hadi wa 13 nasema kasema Toka usimame mlimani mbele za Bwana na tazama Bwana akapita upepo mwingi nguvu kaipasua milima kaivunja vunja miamba mbele za Bwana lakini Bwana hakuwamo katika upepo ule na baada ya upepo tetemeko la inji lakini Bwana hakuwamo katika ile tetemeko la inji na baada ya tetemeko la inji kukawa na moto lakini Bwana hakuwa katika moto ule na baada ya moto sauti ndogo ya utulivu Ikawa Elijah aliposikia alichufunika uso wake katika mavazi yake katoka akasimama mlangoni mwa mapango. Hallelujah. Amina. We see that he thought that God was in the in, in the earthquake but God was not there. Naona ya kwamba Elijah alimtazamia Mungu lakini hakuwapo. He thought he was in the in, in, God was a strong mighty wind but God was not in that wind. Tadhania yupo katika upepo mkali lakini hakuwapo. But God was close to him that's why he had a still small voice speaking to him. Lakini Bwana alikuwa karibu naye zaidi ndiposa akasikia sauti dogo ikimwita. We see that Jacob said in Genesis chapter 28 verse 16, Surely the Lord is in this place and I knew it not. We see that the Jacob did not recognize God was around him. Na muona hata Yakobo hakuweza kujua Bwana yuko sehemu mahali alipokuwa wakati alikutana na Bwana Betheli 
kwamba alisema bwana yuma ali hapa na si kutambua haleluya amina so we see the reason why uh, uh, the reasons many people don't know when god visits one number one is inability to recognize the presence of god and number two many don't know how to respond to the presence of god so when they when they when, when they discover that god is here they don't know how to respond watu wengine jambo la pili linalo kandamiza watu wengine hawajui jinsi ya kuitikia bwana anapokuja karibu nao god has vis visited us many times bwana ametutembelea siku nyingi but we have not responded in the right way lakini hatujaweza kujisalimisha jinsi inavyopaswa Somet sometimes we have not taken the right action kati mwingine ni kutochukua hatua zinazopaswa god has spoken to us and we refused to obey sometimes kati mwingine bwana amezungumza na hatujatii god has given us direction and we have refused to follow that direction kati mwingine ametupa mwongozo lakini hatujafuata my prayer that god will empower us this morning lakini siku ya leo asubuhi hii to respond in the right way Mungu atatuwezesha tuweze kutii and to obey him in the mighty name of Jesus tuweze kutii katika jina la Yesu We want to look at some of the examples in the Bible uh, uh, examples in the Bible of God's visitation Tuangalia mifano katika Biblia ya watu ambao walikutana na Mungu Number one, Abraham and Sarah Kwanza ni Ibrahimu na mke wake Sara Abraham and Sarah didn't have a, didn't have a child Lena tueleza jinsi walivyokuwa hawana mwana. And the, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 15 verse 12. Genesis 15 verse 2. Katika kitabu cha mwanzo sura 15. And Abraham said, Lord God, what will thou give me? See, I go childless, and the steward of my house is in this Eliezer of Damascus. We see that God uh, Abraham told God, I am childless. What will you do for me? Lena sema Abraham alimwambia Bwana sina mwana ni nini utakachonifanyia. He, he had a strong desire for a child. Alikuwa na matamanio makuu kupata mwana. We see in the book of Genesis chapter 16 verse 2. Katika hicho kitabu cha mwanzo 16. And Sarah said unto Abraham. Lena sema Sarah akamwambia Abraham. Behold now the Lord has restrained me from bearing. Basi Bwana amenifunga tumbo tumbo nisizae. I pray thee. Nina umu, Nina go umuingilie mjakazi wangu labda going to my maid it may be that that i may obtain children by her and mm. abram hearken unto the voice of sarah umuingilie mjakazi wangu labda nipate uzao kwa yeye abram akasikiliza sauti ya sarai i'll ask you this question what do you desire katika hili jambo ni nini kilichotamaniyo lako you see abram desired a child Abraham alitamania kuwa na mtoto. The wait, uh, but uh, because of waiting on God, you see Sarah now gave him an, an, an alternative. Kwa sababu ya kumtegemea Mungu na kumngoja Mungu, mke wake Sarai akakuja na jawabu ama jambo tofauti. He gave him an alternative because he was tired of waiting upon the Lord. Kwa sababu ya kuchoka na kumngoja Mungu. Hallelujah. Amina. My prayer that we shall not as you desire good things. Naomba tunapotamania mambo mema. We shall not get tired of waiting and desiring. Hatutachoka kumngoja Bwana. We shall not give God alternatives. Hatutakuja na mawazo mbadala. Maybe you are single there you are waiting for your husband to come. Wengine uko pale unamtegemea kupata mchumba. You shall not look for alternative. Wewe na mbadala. Maybe you are looking for that promotion. Wengine unangoja kuinuliwa cheo. You not look for that alternative through, going through the back the back side to get a promotion. Tusije tukatumia njia za mkato tupate kuinuliwa. Maybe you desire that prosperity. Wengine unatamania kuinuliwa. I pray that you not use the wrong way, the wrong route to get that prosperity. Maombi yangu tusije tukatumia njia za mkato kupata tunachotamania. In, in the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. You see that they desire a child. They desired a child. Walitamania sana mwana. And God visited them. Bwana akawatembelea. The Bible says in Genesis, Genesis chapter 18 verse 1. Katika hicho kitabu cha Mwanzo 18. From verse 1 to from well, read verse 1 to 3 to 4. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plain of Mamre and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked and lo three men stood by him and when he saw them he ran to meet them before the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground and he said my lord if now I've found favor in thy sight pass not away i pray thee from thy servant let a little water i pray you be fetched and wash your feet and rest your and rest yourself under the tree 
Then verse 10 says, And he said, that the Lord said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah, thy wife, shall have a son. And Sarah had it in the tent door, which was behind him. Hallelujah. Mina. We see that they desired a child. Naona walitamani kupata mtoto. God visited them. Bwana akawatembelea. God visited them. Bwana aliwatembelea. And gave them a promise of a child. Na akawapa mwana kama alivyoahidi. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 21 verse 1. Linasema katika hicho kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya 21. Verse 1. Stari wa kwanza. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. Bwana akamtembelea Sarai kama jinsi alivyosema. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Na akamfanyia kama alivyosema. So whatever you desire, chote tutamania. God is able to meet the desires of your heart. Bwana ana uwezo wa kufanya. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Second example is Jacob. Mfano wa pili ni Yakobo. Jacob uh, for many years had run into exile. Yakobo tumeona ameangaika katika uh, ulimwenguni wa matatizo. He went and became a servant to, to his uncle Laban. Akaweza hata kufanya kuwa mjakazi. He labored and had wives and children. Akafanyia kazi kwa Labani ndipo sapate bibi. And a time came he told Laban his uncle. Wakati ukafikia akamwambia Labani, I want to leave and go and, and, and mind my own business and do my own business. Ngalipenda kutoka kwako nikaanze kawe na mwanzo mpya. I want to leave and go back to my home to where I came from. Ningependa nirudie jamaa wangu niliyotoka kwao. See, Jacob became uncomfortable where he was. Yakobo akutulia pale alikuepo. And he desired for change. Akatamani mabadiliko. He desired to go back where 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 where, 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 where the promise of God was. Katamani kurudi palipo na Bwana. Hallelujah. Amina. So what are your desire? Ni matamanio gani what ndani yako? What does God to do in your life? Nini unachotamania what kutimiza? God, what, what, has, what has God spoken concerning your life? Nini Bwana amezungumza kukuhusu? What prophecy, for prophecy have you received? Ni nini ambacho Bwana amesema kuhusu? Desire for manifestation of that prophecy. Lazima utamani kutimiza jinsi Bwana alivyosema. Desire for the fulfillment of the word that, you have, that has been spoken to you. Lazima utamanie ile unabii uliokuja juu as, yako. And as you become uncomfortable in your current situation. Na unatakapojitolea ili kutimiza your change will come. Basi mwanzo wa mabandiliko. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. The Bible says and Jacob in, in Genesis chapter 32 verse 24 and Jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. Then verse 25 and when he saw the, that he prevailed not against him he touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint and he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with man, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou doesn't, uh, dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of, the, of that place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face. And my life is preserved. Hallelujah. Amina. Which is that Jacob wrestled with God. He, wa he wanted change in his life. He, he, he didn't want, he didn't, he didn't want to, to be in exile. Akutaka kuishi katika maisha ya kukukiwa. Alitaka kurudia maisha yake aliyo. Alitaka maisha ambayo Bwana alitazamia. Alitaka maisha ya kujitegemea. Na akashindana na Bwana na Bwana akamtendea. And he prayed. And he prayed. Na akaomba. And God changed his story. Na Bwana akabadili maisha yake. Hallelujah. Amina. Another uh, two, uh, 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 story in the Bible where people visit, uh, experience God's visitation is with the children of Israel. Mfano mwingine wa watu ambao Bwana aliwatembelea ni wana wa Israeli. You know when the children of Israel went to Egypt. Wana wa, wa Israeli walienda katika nchi ya utumwa Misri. Joseph gave them the choices the choicest place to stay. Yusuf akawapa mahali pema walipokuwa wanaishi. They multiplied and increased. Wakaanza kuzaa na kuongezeka. They became comfortable in their, in, their, in, in, in Egypt. Wakawa wametulia pali na sehemu ile. They loved the onions and the garlics. 
and even they forgot the promised land they, they promised they, they forgot the promised land where they came from a land flowing with milk and honey why did they forget the promised land why did they forget their, pro their promised land because they became comfortable in their, in their comfort zone when they were in Egypt as long as they were comfortable God did not visit them God did not return them to the promised land he said Joseph said in, a, in prophecy, Joseph said in prophecy in Genesis chapter 50 verse 24 to 26. 24 to 26. And Joseph said unto his brethren, I die and God will surely visit you and bring you out of this land and to the land which he swore to Abraham, to Isaac and to Jacob. Hallelujah. Katika hicho kitabu cha mwanzo hamsini na sura 24 Bile nasema ya kwamba Nisufu wakamwambia nduguze Mimi ni nakufa Lakine mungu atawajia ninyi mbila shaka Atawapandisha toka inji hii Paka inji na alio wa pia Ibrahimu na Isaka na Yakobo Nisufu akawapisha wana wa Israeli akasema Bila shaka mungu atawajia ninyi Nanyi mtaipandisha huko Mifupa yangu, basi Yusufu wakafa mwenye miaka mea na kumi, wakampaka waka dawa, wakamtia katika sanduku uko misri. Hallelujah. Amina. We know the children of Israel remained in Egypt. Wana wa Israel walika katika misri. And they were comfortable in Egypt. Na wakatulia katika misri. As long as they were prosperous and they were enjoying that time, uh, the, the king that knew Joseph was still around. Walishi maisha kutosheka misri. But when the king that knew Joseph died, the pharaoh that knew Joseph died, Wakati Yusufu alipoondoka, affliction and bondage came to them. Maisha ikageuka. It is at that time of affliction and bondage that they cried to God for help. Iyo ndiyo wakati walipo mulilia buwana wakati wa mateso. It is that time of affliction and bondage that they cried to God and told God, Father, please change our story. Ni wakati tu walipo ingia katika taabu na mateso walimugeukia mungu awabadili. It is at that time they desired for change in their lives. Ni hadi wakati walipo tamani mabandiliko. It is that time they desired to relocate back to Canaan where they came from. Ni hadi pale walipo tamani kutoka katika utumwa. Hallelujah. Amina. You know sometimes God has put, put you through some uncomfortable situation. Kati mwingine Mungu anatuondoa katika raha zetu. So, so that we can desire greater things. Iposa tuwe na matamanio ya so kutegemea. So that we can desire change. Iposa tuweze na kuwa na mabandiliko. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 3 verse 7 to 8. Oh, Exodus chapter 2, let me start Exodus 2:23. And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died. And the children of Israel sighed by reason of bondage. And they cried, and their cry came unto the God by reason of the bondage. So we see that they started crying as a result of bondage. But, but when they were free and not in bondage, they didn't cry any cry. Lakini wakati walipo kuwa wamestareka awa kulilia chochote. They, they were comfortable. Walisi wametosheka. We see that it is this bondage that made them cry for change. Ni hali ya utumwa ili ya wafaswa wakaweza kulilia mungu. Another person that ex experienced God's visitation is Hannah. Mtu mwingine tutakaya mtazama alie kutana na buwana ni Anna. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse uh, 1 to 21, that's the story of Anna, we will not read all of it. The Bible says that... Uh, Hannah didn't have. Uh, Hannah was married to a man, and he was. Uh, they had now Penina is called the, the the other wife, and then Penina had children, and Hannah did not have children. Now now you uh mambo uh you uh mambo ya Anna jinsi tunailezo katika neno la mungu jinsi walipio kuwa wa meolewa na muke mwingine na ule mwingine alikuwa na watoto aliyeitwa Penina na yeye Anna akuwa na mwana. Na uh, uh, buwana wake alimpenda na walishi pamoja. 
and we see that Penina provoked Hannah to pray and to seek God. Penina tuonyesha njinzi mke wa wa Elkana Penina njinzi alivyomfanya Anna na kumtafuta Mungu. Because she came and mocked her because she said you don't have children see I have many children you don't have even one you don't have even one or even a child. Naona njinzi alivyomdhiaki na kumdharau kwa kumuonyesha Anna mtoto. And the Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 10 1:10 and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so she was bitter in soul and she prayed Lena tuonyesha njinzi alivyokuwa amegadhabika rohoni mwake na akamgeukia Mungu and he cried unto the Lord na akamlilia Bwana and then she vowed about and said unto the Lord na akafanya agano na Mungu if you give me this child i'll make him a prophet umbe ukinipa mwana nitamfanya nabii and the bible says in verse 19 and the, and and they rose up in the morning early and worshiped before the Lord and returned and it came into the house of Rama and Elkanah knew Hannah and his wife uh, knew, her, knew Hannah his wife and the Lord remembered her Lena tuonyesha njinzi baada ya Bwana kunena naye jinzi Mungu alivyomkumbuka She desired a child Alitamani mtoto She was provoked because of her, of, of Hannah of, of Penina aligadhabishwa na penina she was not comfortable being childless hakufurahi kuishi bila mtoto she went and prayed unto the lord and cried unto the lord akamwendea bwana na kuomba and the lord answered her na mungu akamjibu and the lord changed the story mungu akabandili maisha yake and the lord changed the story mungu abandili maisha yetu but the god will change my story mtu aseme bwana abandili maisha yangu my change will come mbadiliko imekuja katika maisha yangu in, G, in Jesus name katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen amina desire for change attracts god's visitation matamanio ya mabadiliko na kumcha bwana inafanya mungu kuja kwetu we see hana desired for change hana alitamani mabadiliko and god visited her Bwana akamtembelea. Jacob desired for change. Kobo alitamani mabadiliko. And God visited visited him. Vile vile tukamwona Bwana amemtembelea. The children of Israel desired for change. Bwana wa Israeli walitamani mabadiliko. And God visited them. Na Mungu aliwatembelea. Abraham and Sarah desired for change for a child. Ibrahim alitamani mabadiliko na mwana. And God visited them. Na Mungu aliwatembelea. So when desire for change comes wakati matamanio ya mabadiliko inapokuja number one, jambo la kwanza a burden of prayer begins to, de- to develop as god's spirit leads you into the place of change mzigo wa maombi unatujia na tunaanza kumcha mungu na tunaanza kumtafuta kwa kila hali so you begin to have a desire a burden for prayer because anna prayed and a change came she had a desire for change and she began to pray kati ilo matamani inapokuja tunapatwa na huo mzigo wa kutaka kumtafuta Mungu na mabadiliko yetu inakuja so when desire for change comes in wakati, your life wakati tamaa ama tamanio la mabadiliko linapokuja katika maisha you'll have a burden for prayer zima utakuwa na huo mzigo wa kutaka kuomba the bible says in mark chapter 11 verse 24 mark 11 24 therefore i say unto you hapo na wanenea nyinyi whatever things you desire vyote mnavyotamania when you pray napoenda katika maombi believe that you receive them na muamini mtavipokea and you shall have them na mtakuwa nazo haleluya amina the bible says anna desired for a child for a male child then asema anna alitamania mwana wa kiume and god gave him that gave her a male child bwana akampa mtoto wa kiume the bible says in James chapter 5 verse 16 Katika kitabu cha Yakobo sura ya 5 The honest heart felt continued prayer The honest heart felt continued prayer Tamanio la maombi yanayoendelea pasipo kukoma Of a righteous man ya mtakatifu makes tremendous power available Inafanya uh, nguvu kuu kuonekana So as you pray Unapoomba it provokes change in your life. Inafanya mabadiliko ije. It makes tremendous power available for you. Kuna nguvu kuu inavyofanywa kuwa katika maisha yako. To bring change in your life. Na inaleta mabadiliko. To bring change in your situation. Na inaleta mabadiliko. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. So when desire comes number one, there is a burden for prayer. Kati tunapokuwa na tamanio basi tunapatwa na huo mzigo wa kuomba 
Number two, when, 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 the, when the desire for change comes, wakati tamanio la mabadiliko linapokuja be specific in your desire lazima tuwe na mwongozo ulio uh, sawa sawa katika matamanio yetu tell god this is what i want lazima tuwe na jambo fulani ambalo tunataka mungu atende jacob and sarah said we want a child bila tuonyesha jinsi ibrahim alisema anataka mwana the children of Israel said we want to go back to our promised land. Wana wa Israeli walijua wanataka kutoka katika utumwa. Hannah desired for a child. She said I want a male child. Lena tuonyesha Hana alitaka mwana wa kiume. So be specific in your desire. Zima tuwe na mwongozo thabiti kwa matamanio yetu. Tell God what you desire. Zima tumwambia Mungu ni ni, ni kipi ama ni jambo gani tunaloitaji. Tell God what you want. Zima tumwambie Bwana ni nini tunachotamania. Tell God the change that you desire. Ni mabadiliko gani tunayohitaji lazima tumwambie Mungu. Tell God the levels that you desire. Zima tumwambie kwa kiwango gani tunapotamani. And God is faithful. Na Mungu ni mwaminifu. He will give us the desires of our hearts. Atatupa kulingana na matamanio so yetu. Whatever you desire when you pray. Lena sema tunachotamani tunapoomba. Believe that you have it and you shall have it. Tuwe na imani tutapokea. So desire whatever desire that thing that you desire. Tamanio lilo nalo nilo jambo unalo tamani. Desire promotion. Lazima tutamani kuinuliwa. Desire that breakthrough. Tamani kuinuliwa. Desire that better relationship with God. Lazima tutamanie kuwa na uhusiano mwema na Mungu. And you shall experience it in the name of Jesus. Na itafanyika katika jina la Yesu. Number 3. Jambo la tatu when desire for change comes wakati tamanio la mabadiliko linapokuja bring forth your strong reasons lazima tulete sababu zetu kuu bring forth your strong reasons lazima tulete sababu zetu kuu tell god why you want that change lazima tumweleze mungu ni kwa nini atubandili tell god why you desire that transformation lazima tumweleze mungu ni kwa nini abadilisha maisha yetu and as you tell god the, and, 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 and as you bring your strong reasons god will answer your desires wakati tunapomweleza mungu basi analeta jawabu the bible says in Isaiah chapter 38 verse 1 to 3 Katika kitabu cha Isaya kifungu cha 38 mstari And in those days was Ezekiah sick unto death Na hizo siku Ezekiah alikuwa mgonjwa and, and Isaiah the prophet the son of Amos came unto him Na Isaiah nabii wa Mungu akaja kwake And said unto him Na akamwambia Thus says the Lord Bwana asema hivi Set the house in order Weka nyumba yako sawa sawa Thou shall die Kwa sababu utaiaga And not live Na utaishi. Then Ezekiah turned turn his face towards the wall. Ezekiah kageuza uso wake ukutani. And prayed unto the Lord. Na akamwomba Bwana. And said, Na akasema, Remember now, O Lord. Bwana na ukumbuke. I beseech thee. Na kuomba. How I have walked before thee in truth. Jinsi nilivyotembea mbele zako. And with perfect heart. Na roho yenye utakatifu. And I've done that which was good in thy sight. Na nimefanya ipasavyo mbele ya macho yako. And Ezekiah wept so. Lena tuambia kalia sana. We see Ezekiah brought the strong reasons before God. Lena tuonyesha jinsi Ezekiah alivyoleta sababu zake kuu. He told, he told him how he told God how he had worked with him. Akamweleza Bwana jinsi alivyotembea naye. Hallelujah. Amina. And the Bible says in uh, Isaiah 38 4 to 5. Lena sema katika hicho kifungu cha Isaiah 38 After he gave his strong reasons baada ya kueleza sababu zake Then came to the word then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah Basi neno la Bwana likamjia kupitia Isaiah Go and say to Ezekiah Naenda ukamwambie Ezekiah Thus says the Lord God of David thy father Bwana sema hivi I have heard thy prayer. Nimesikia maombi lako. I have seen thy tears. Na nimeona machozi yako. Behold I will add unto thee and I will add unto I will add unto thy days 15 years. Na hivyo nakupa nyongeza ya miaka 15. Ezekiah brought strong reasons before God. Hivyo tunaona Ezekiah alileta sababu kuu mbele za Mungu. God added unto him 15 more years. Na Mungu akamwongezea miaka. Hallelujah. Amina. We see that uh, Hana told God. No, no, Hana alimweleza Mungu. He made a vow. Akafanya agano. He, he told God that as you, as you bless me with a child. Kumambea Mungu napo nipa mwana. I'll present this child to the altar. Basi nitampeana katika nyumba yako. As your priest forever. Awe mtumishi siku zote. Because because Hana made that vow. Kwa sababu ya hiyo agano. God made God gave him the answer. God gave her the answer. Basi Mungu akamjibu. Hallelujah. Amina. So when the number 4 when, when desire for change comes, you will receive your answer in the word. 
utapokea jawabu lako katika neno God will send you a word Bwana atatuma neno The Bible says in Psalms chapter 104 verse 17 Zaburi sura ya 114 He sent a man before them Even Joseph who was sold by servant Hata Yusufu aliyotuzwa kama mtumwa Whose feet thy heart uh, whose feet they heart with fetters Miguu yake waliyofunga na nyororo He was laid in iron wakamfunga na nyororo na chuma the time that his word came Hadi wakati neno lake lilipomjia The word of the Lord tried him Neno la Mungu likamjaribu. The king sent him, sent and loosed him. Falme akatumana na akafunguliwa. Even the ruler of the people. Tumishi na hata anayesimamia watu. And let him go free. Na akamweka huru. He made him lord of his house. Mfanya bwana wa nyumba yake. The ruler of all his substance. Na akampa mamlaka juu ya mali yake. Find his princes at his pleasure. Aweze kuwafunga masheki wake. And teach his senators wisdom. Na kufunza wazee hekima. We see the word of the Lord came to Joseph. Naona neno la Mungu lilimjia Yusufu. And the word of God relocated him from the prison to the palace. Na likamjia katika korokoro na ikampeleka katika uh, ufalme. As God sends your word to you. Bwana anapolituma neno katika maisha yetu. You shall be relocated in the name of Jesus. Litatupata tulipo katika jina la Yesu. Change your positive change will come in the name of Jesus. Mabadiliko mema yatakuja siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 107 verse 20. Lena sema katika hicho kifungu cha Zaburi 107 He has sent his word Ametuma neno lake and heal them na ikawaponya and deliver them from their destruction na ikawafungua katika vifungu za so, uharibifu So when God sends his word Kati Bwana anapotuma neno it brings healing inaleta uponyaji When God sends his, his word Bwana anapotuma neno lake it brings deliverance inaleta ufungu When God ufunuo. sends his word Kati Bwana anapotuma neno it brings change and transformation inaleta mabadiliko na kuinuliwa When God sends his word Kati Bwana anapotuma neno it brings renewal of mind inaleta mabadiliko ya mawazo Inaleta mabandiliko na italeta leo as you, receive your word, as you receive your word in the name of Jesus Napolipokea lile neno bana lilo tuma Finally when desire for change comes Jambo lingine wakati unapo kuwa na matamania mabandiliko God visits you and changes your position and your status Wana anakutembelea na anabandilisha na fasi yako God visits you Wana anakutembelea And it changes your status Na anabandilisha Na and, yako. and turns you into another man. Na anakufanya umpia. And gives you the desires of your heart. Anakupa yo matamanio ya maisha yako. The Bible says yako. in 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 6. Samuel ya kwanza kumi. Verse 6. Stari wa sita. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee. Roa wabwana atakujia. And thou shalt prophesy with them. Na utatabiri. And shall be turned into another man. Na utageuzwa kuwa mtu mpia. You shall be turned into another man. Utageuzwa kuwa kiumbe kipia. And the spirit of God comes upon you. Kati roa wabwana anapokujia. And God visits you this morning. Wabwana anapotembelea leo. You shall be turned into another man. Tutageuzwa na kufanya umpia. You shall enter into, your, into the areas of your desires. Tutaingia we shall enter to that marriage we shall possess that, 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 that possession you shall enter into that uh, greater levels in prayer we shall obtain that promotion we shall have that, those children in the name of Jesus you shall be lifted in the name of Jesus and you desire for change in your career you shall come quickly in the mighty name of Jesus because of the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee and because God has visited you the Bible says and the Lord said unto Joshua in Joshua 5 verse 9 Joshua 5 9 Joshua 5 9 and the Lord said unto Joshua This day have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt from off you Wherefore the name of the place is called Gilgal unto this day For when God visits you this morning You roll away the reproach of Egypt in the name of Jesus You roll away the reproach of Egypt in the mighty name of Jesus You roll Roll away joblessness. Atatoa hali ya kutokuwa na kazi. Roll away smallness. 
Ataondoa hali ya udhaifu. Roll away scarcity. Ataondoa uchache. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu. You roll away sickness and disease. Ataondoa magonjwa. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. You roll away stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ. Ataondoa kukwama katika jina la Yesu. You roll away disappointments in the name of Jesus. Ataondoa Bwana ataondoa hata kukosewa na hata kutopata matamanio yetu. You roll away failure in the name of Jesus Christ. Ataondoa hata kushindwa katika maisha yetu. Your desire for change will come this morning. Na matamanio tuliyonayo itadhihirika. Your desire for change has come already in the name of Jesus. Matamanio tayari tunayo. You shall enjoy change in the name of Jesus Christ. Tutafurahi mabadiliko ya Bwana. Hallelujah. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Let's pray this prayer lastly just tell God Father please God a desire for change change my life change my story this morning. Baka tuende tukaombe. Tumwambie Bwana bandili maisha yangu asubuhi ya leo. In the name of Jesus Father desire for change this morning. Bwana natamani mabadiliko. Bwana natamani mabadiliko. Bwana natamani kuinuliwa. Bwana natamani kubadilishwa. Lord, I'm uncomfortable in my current situation, my current level. Nimekataa jinsi nilivyo. Lord, I ask of God for a change in my life. Bwana nibandili katika maisha yangu. Katika jina la Yesu. Lord, my father did that change in the world changes of God, my father. Bwana natamani mabadiliko. Let there be increase and multiplication here. Wacha Bwana nikainuliwe. Karika jina la Yesu. Father, we desire God to increase and multiply. Natamani wana kuinuliwa na kupanuliwa. We desire God to establish God around the world in the name of Jesus. Na ukadumisha misingi yangu. Father, Lord, take us there as a ministry. Bana tuinuwe karika uduma. In the name of Jesus Christ. Karika jina la Yesu. Lord, we desire God to make world change as men and women of influence. Matamani o yetu karika uduma hi bana ukatuinuwe. Karika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Karika jina la Yesu. Father, cause us God to make us men of positive change, O Lord. Udufanya bana wana. Watu wakubadili nia za watu wengine katika jina la Yesu. Bwana kutana na matamanio yetu. Katika jina la Yesu. Bwana tunakutukuza na kukuabudu. Wacha Bwana mabadiliko yetu yakaje. Matamanio yetu Bwana asubuhi ya leo. Na kwa bana kwa kila yote anaye kutegemea na ako chini. Lord, I ask for a shaking of God, my Father. Bana kukawe na babadiliko. Make us uncomfortable, oh God, in our current state, oh Lord. Bana tufanye tuzitosheke na hali tulizoko. And call the Lord to desire greater things, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Unatamani mambo mema, bana. To the glory and honor of your name. Katika utukufu wako. Father, make us, oh God, uncomfortable, my Father, with your current level. Bana tufanye tusiwe wa kutosheka. And call the Lord to desire greater and marvelous things, oh Lord. Tuwe na matamanio ya mambo mema. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as you desire that those greater things, O Lord, let there be a manifestation, O God, in the name of Jesus. Let there be change, O Lord, in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Savior. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 I pray for you this morning that your desired change will come this morning. God will lift us from where we are and to take us to greater heights in the name of Jesus. God will take us where we ought to be in life and destiny. We shall become as we are supposed to in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. We shall be uncomfortable until we reach the place where we are supposed to be in the name of Jesus. According to the blueprint of our destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's package our offering this morning. And give unto the Lord. In Jesus' name, you can prepare your tithe. If it's your tithe. Those online can give through M-Pesa. If you are in East Africa. Wale wanaungana nasi katika mtandao tunaweza kutoa kwa njia ya Mpesa. And those who are out of Africa you can use send wave to give you Wale tulio nje ya Afrika mbako kuna Mpesa tunaweza kutumia uh, njia ya send wave. And those who are here physically you can bring your offering. Wale tulioko hapa tunaweza kutoa 
mbele hapa kwa madhabao in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu Let's bless our offering fathers in the name of Jesus Bwana katika jina la Yesu We thank you for the privilege to give this morning Na shukuru ni kwa ajili ya nafasi ya kutoa Lord as we give this morning Napotoa Bwana Let our financial status change in the name na, of Jesus Na hiwe mabandiliko katika fedha zetu Take us to greater heights financially Katuinue kiwango cha kifedha In the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord Katika jina la Yesu Lord as you bless us financially Bwana unapotuinua kifedha Make us a blessing in the name of Jesus Bwana tukae kubariki The glory and honor of your name katukuke bwana thank you blessed savior shukuru bwana in jesus name we are praying and giving thanks katika jina la yesu tumeomba amen hallelujah amen. please you can come in the name of jesus i want to thank upon the lord once again for giving this opportunity shukuru inafasi kwa baba yangu wa kiroho yonipa to, to share the word of god this morning kaleta ili neno and i pray yonipa. that we, we shall hold this word Maombi yangu tutashika neno la Bwana. We shall desire for change. Na matamanio yetu ya mabadiliko. We shall always be desire, desire, desiring change. Tutakuwa watu wa kutamani mabadiliko. And as we desire God will give us the desires of our hearts in Jesus name. Kadri tunavyotamani Bwana akatimize. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. So after the Kiswahili service we'll enter straight to our uh, inspiration service. Maliza ibada yetu ya Kiswahili tunaingia ibada ya Kiingereza. God bless you our online viewers. God Wana bless you. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. And so we begin our Kiswahili service immediately. Oh, inspiration service or inspiration service we begin immediately after now. Amen. Amen. 